Hi guys, welcome back, round two. So fucking bored here. Oh my god, you're gonna get out. I can't get anywhere, I'm not even kidding. Like I said, they've closed the highways down the last three nights in a row. They're staying off the streets. It's not so much the snow. Snow's not a problem. It's the fact that it snowed, then rained, like a lot, both of them. Like, foot and a half of snow, fucking foot of fucking rain, and then it's almost as soon as it stopped raining, uh, well, the, 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 the rain melted a lot of the snow, but it couldn't go anywhere because they had that snow over the manhole covers and drains and stuff. So, and then it stopped raining and it almost instantly flash froze. Boom. So we're sitting with roads with fucking this much ice on them. The city's been doing their best. I ain't, I ain't blaming the city, man. Those guys and girls, they've been out there plowing away, smashing the fucking, using the ice breakers and everything, but there's just so much you can do. Time. You know, they'll do their best, but time is just really the only option for it. It's going to have to fix itself. Nature will take care of itself. So, anyway, that's besides the point. That's just why you're getting so many videos. Because I'm bored. You get another one tomorrow. Like I said, it's going to be that Aventus mixture. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to this one. This one is uh, one I wore today. Um, put some on my hand a couple hours ago. Or about an hour ago. Uh, not a clone or anything. It's it's a it's a cheapie though, a real real cheapie, like you know Playboy cheapie in terms of price. <laughs> Playboy stuff is is pretty good quality. This so so it's all, it's okay quality. It, it only cost me like seven dollars, and. It's worth seven dollars, so I wouldn't spend much more than that on it, though. Which is too bad, because I like a couple from this, and I do like this. It actually smells really good. It's just performers. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Uh, what is it? It's uh, Adidas Dynamic Pulse Eau de Toilette. Uh, yeah, just a little fifty mil bottle here. Let's get into it. It was a uh, 97, and it smells like it was released in 97. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, woody, aromatic, green, citrus, fresh, spicy, fruity are the accords. Top notes, citrus and mint. Uh, mid notes, cedarwood, floral notes, fruits. Base is woods and tonka. Mint, 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 mint. Fruity mint light. It's in a real seal, I guess. I'm nah, just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very minty. Very sweet. Uh, but at the same time, not cloningly sweet. Uh, not powerful sweet. Uh, Invictus. Uh, no, it's not that kind of sweet. Uh, not one million sweet. Um, not that Aqua de Geo one. They released a little while ago. That's real sweet. None of that kind of sweet. It's sweet, but it's more of a light, fruity sweet. You definitely get that. But what you get from this, guys, is mint, mint, mint. <sighs> it, like, what, I, what I meant by what I said, it smells like it was released in 97. For those of us who were there, old as fuck. <laughs> uh... The mid 90s, all the way up until the early 2000s, were really dominated by us. I, I don't know what cologne started it, but I know what one started it for, for me anyway was CK1. The fresh lights, aquatic, minty. Uh, I think uh, these were all released in the 90s CK1, CKB, uh, Aqua de Geo. Uh, the Mall, another mint heavy. Though the, the Mall is a heavy scent. This isn't. But that mint is very, very prominent in it. Uh, Polo Sport. If I had to pick one that this reminds me of, it's not a cologne. It's not even, you know, or anything like that. But with the mint off the top, and about 15, 20 minutes into it, it really has 
a polo sport vibe. It's not polo sport, so don't think you're going to go out and get this and smell like polo sport. It's just got that same aquatic minty type vibe that I was trying to get at. Um, not a bad scent at all. I mean, it, it is what it is. You're seven dollars. Not a bad spray. Do you ever get mint and citrus and fruit right off the top? Uh, I mean, it is it's not bad at all, guys. It's it, it's as wearable today as it was when it first came out. It's. Uh, very safe again, you know, non-offensive, I guess. Safe's not a good word. Very unoffensive scent. Uh, projects really well for about 20 minutes. Uh, that would be the volatile notes, the citrus and the mint. Although the mint stays pretty much the whole life of the fragrance, which isn't that long, unfortunately. But it stays the whole life of the fragrance. But fuck, does it project for a good 20 minutes, maybe even a half hour. Like, like I'm smelling it from here, like heavy. That mint is just citrus and mint and fruit, boom. Anyway, it, 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 after that goes away, about a half hour or so, uh, it hits the mid pretty quick. Uh, you've still got that mint. That mint is still, the mint and fruit is still, still sweet and minty. It will be from start to finish. Uh, but, uh, it kind of gets a little, uh, light floral, I'd say white floral. I don't know what flower or flowers, but a wee tint of geranium in there. Maybe even a little lily. I don't know for sure. And, uh, it's kind of smoothed out with a little bit of cedar wood uh, and again that lasts for about an hour and then that kind of goes away but again I'm not joking the mint and the apple is still there not near as prominent but it's still there and uh, more woods and tonka come out I'm gonna say the woods is probably sandalwood because sandalwood done a certain way will give a bit of a musky vibe. And this does have a bit of a musky vibe. So I'm going to say it's sandalwood and probably more cedar, probably. Because um, it does get a bit of a woody musky vibe to it. I think like a damp wood. Kind of get that vibe to it. With uh, kind of sweetness comes back a tiny little bit because of the tonka. But the last hour or so of the fragrance, it just, just yeah, that's what it is. Um, longevity, unfortunately, <laughs> it goes through them stages pretty quick. Only get about three and a half hours out of it. Four if you're pushing it. Uh, like I said, projects okay for about a half hour, but other than that, there's no, they're still going to smell on you though. That's the thing. The whole life of the scent is still going to be smelled on you. They just have to like, if somebody comes in to give you a hug or a handshake and a pat in the back, or you're standing close to you in an elevator or something, they're going to smell it. Uh, you're just not going to project out there, you know. Uh, your silage, they're going to know you were there if they were standing close enough to you, but you're not going to leave much of a trail. Um, it's unfortunate. I wish Adidas would have used better, better oils, more concentrated oils, and more fixatives because it's a very nice scent. Like I said, it's got that mid-90s, early 2000s, Fucking minty, spicy, fucking fruity vibe to it. Really nice scent. Uh, just doesn't last very long. Uh, like I said, most of the dupes I buy for 3 to $5 from Preferred and stuff smell better and last longer. So, I shouldn't say smell better. This smells really good, but definitely lasts longer. But this would be a perfect, I mean, I guess Adidas Sport would be a good gym scent, a good uh, scent to wear after a 
a rugby match. I don't know if you play rugby, but a rugby match or a football game. You know, stuff I played when I was younger, you know, wrestling match. Something to put on after you get done one of your sports and showered up and you're ready to meet your your cheerleader girlfriend from high school. <laughs> I guess that's what I'd call this. More of a young man's sense. I hate aging things, but I really... I don't want to age it, so I'm going to call it the youthful scent. Because you can be youthful and be an old fucker like me. Because <laughs> I'll wear it. But I can't imagine guys my age, late 30s, early 40s, and higher really rocking this too much. Um, unless they're coming out of the gym. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. It's not a, it's not a bad scent. Just longevity is pretty much the shit. Projection. Performance in general is pretty much the shit. But, I mean, you get it for five or six, seven bucks. It smells good enough. Uh, I just reapplied, but I had to reapply like every two hours today. This was a brand new bottle yesterday. Look. Because <laughs> when you, 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 you apply, you, you got to put on like six, seven sprays. And two hours later, another fucking half a dozen. <laughs> And two hours later, another half a dozen, another half a dozen, another, you know what I mean? Uh, that being said, though, be careful when you do reapply this. Let's say you're at work and you put it on. Put it on, like I said, about 20 minutes before you go anywhere because it does project pretty. It can be a little, that mint can be a little in your face to people. So, yeah, you know, if you reapply it, make sure you've got a 15, 20 minute break. That you can reapply it right at break, and you do that 15, 20 minute break, and then go back to work or whatever. Uh, but not bad though, guys. Like I said, if you can get it for a few bucks, why not? Uh, smells, you know, are again generic, and that has such a negative indication to it. I wish it didn't. People always are generic, crowd pleasing, generic. I've gotten to that before, but nothing wrong with being liked by most people. <laughs> You know, anyway, guys, peace, love, be good to each other.